I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard took down Fist and was able to save the Quarian, who had the evidence that proved Saren was working with the Geth and was responsible for the attack on Eden Prime. When Commander Cory Shepard presented this evidence to the Council, the Council decided she would be the first human specter. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to Missledyne Online in our continuing playthrough of Mass Effect Legendary Edition on the hardest difficulty, that's Insanity, where we are premiering new episodes every single day at 2 p.m. Eastern, so hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you know when we are premiering new episodes. In this episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard learned that there are three places of interest, the two human colonies, Pharos and Neveria, and we have a lead on a Prothean expert, the daughter of Matriarch Benezia, who is working with Saren, Liara Tassoni, one of my favorite characters in all of Mass Effect. And in this episode, we are going to go and see. Maybe we can get her to join our side. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to someone, to Renegade Shepard. He is the complete opposite of everything Commander Cory Shepard stands for. He is just here for the fame, the glory, and to make people pay for crossing his way. Going forward in this series, I'm going to be showing some renegade actions using a soldier, Commander Shepard. Now, if you are playing Renegade Shepard, here's where you can decide a different fate for Fist. Too many people died here, Fist. You don't get to walk away. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Now, something else I'd love to show you before we continue on with the real episode is that if you didn't recruit Rex before you go and kill Fist and you come talk to him now... You. Human. You the one they call Shepard? Who wants to know? The name's Rex. The Shadow Broker paid me a lot of money to get rid of Fist. Only you got there first. It's not my fault you were slow on the draw. When I get paid to do a job, I finish it alone. I don't like where this is going. But I didn't finish this job, Shepard. You did. So the payment is yours. Bounty hunters don't just go around paying off people who take their contracts. I won't take credit for someone else's work. I transferred the payment into your account. I like the way you handled Fist. Now I hear you're going after Saren. I was thinking I should come along. We'll take you with us, Rex. Smart move, Shepard. It's a very renegade feeling uh, version there, right? When when Rex joins you. Now, he said that he deposited the credits into our account. And I'll be honest, I don't really see that much credits and didn't look like anything. So we did get, I guess, a little bit. But, you know, something to something to think about going forward. Anyways, I just wanted to show that scene. Now, if you do bring Rex with you, be the location now. You're on the wards, the back alley. And what are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. So that's going to be a pretty fun feature, I think, of the series, is going ahead and, and seeing what Renegade Shepard is up to on his journey. Anyways, uh, we are going to continue on, and we've already been over and we've already talked to everybody on the lower floors, but we haven't talked to some of the people here. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. Uh, they're on We're our side. We're on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, ma'am, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Do you... do you doubt me? I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Yeah, damn right. So what is your problem with having these aliens on the ship, Speak my freely, guy? Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop it. We don't need their help. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. That's just being stupid and stubborn. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you stronger. You're damn right, I guess Shepard. So. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. 
Okay, I, I really hope not. Uh, what's... How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? Ask him about that. I signed that. up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school, following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. They had the numbers, but their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. And now you're here? How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Nice. I trust you, Commander. If you think they belong here, then so do I. Good. I'm glad you've changed your mind, Navigator Presley. Carry on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. And after talking to Presley, that's all that we can do here. So let's go ahead and use the galaxy map. We've gotten everything that we can. And just by walking up here, we ended up getting 17 experience and another codex entry. Look at this. Oh, here we go, guys. The bread and butter of exploration in Mass Effect 1. I'm so excited that we're finally here. Supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Nice. So let's go ahead and zoom out here. Guys, welcome to the galaxy. How cool is this? Oh man, I remember my first time getting to do this. I was just blown away. So we're gonna leave the Serpent Nebula and we are going to look specifically for Liara's dig site. Now you'll see that there are all of these systems that we can check out. Argos Row, we heard that there's something there for us. Hades Gamma, we heard there's something there for us. All of these have something of interest that we're going to get. But remember, we're saving our side quests until we get our final squad member. We have Novaria, Pharos, Asteroid. This is actually a, well, we're not gonna worry about that now. So let's go ahead and let's go to the Artemis Tau cluster and see if we can meet up with Liara to Sony. And when you get here, you'll see that there are four little systems that we can go to, or, and we wanna go to Gnosis. This is the system. This is, a, this is a monumental occasion. Our first time leaving the Citadel to explore a planet. One of the coolest parts about Mass Effect, my friends. And look at that. In a blink of an eye, we're already in the Gnosis system. So we can look at all of these and see that there are a bunch of different planets. Now you can actually see that there's, ooh, whoa, you know, and you always want to look in these little belts that are around because we can see that there's unknown. And if you press triangle, if you're on, if you're on PlayStation, you can scan. This is all going to be handy later, but I don't want to start those assignments yet again, because I want to make sure that we get our, uh, our final squad member first. So we're going to head to the planets of Harem. It's a distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. Its plentiful heavy metals have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on Earth. Core samples rich with the fossils of simple silicone-based organisms indicate Therum was more habitable in the past than it is at present. Perhaps this explains the many Prothean ruins dotting the surface, most of which have been looted by mining corporations. We are landing on our first alien planet. I guess unless you count Eden Prime, I, you know, you know what I mean. You, stop it. And we are going to ignore Caden Alenko because we already got his trophy. Remember, trophies for allies are super easy to get now. You only need five missions and you have them. That is pretty darn wild. And we're going to go ahead and bring our friend Talizora Naraya. That should be a decent squad for this mission. And you are now introduced Commander, for the I'm first time ever. Strange readings, really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks the like Mako. An underground complex, a few clicks away from the drop zone. Which is so much easier to control now than it was back in the day. Let me tell you, these are our thrusters, so you can jump around by hitting X. This is this is this is this is awesome. That's our grenade, our uh, our cannon. There, you hit R1. We also have our little mini gun that we can do our boost to, to thrust, and we can zoom in and take things out in a pretty cool way. 
But before we go any further in the Mako, we're going to want to make sure that we spend some of our points here on our new Quarian ally, Talizora Naraya. Now, if you are playing on Insanity like me, there is a potential that you're going to want to bring, say, Rex and Garrus. This is a very hard mission for this point in the game, especially on Insanity. So keep that in mind going forward. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we are going to make sure that our friend Tally here has uh, the hacking abilities so that she can hack Geth. And then we just don't have to worry about them at all, which is nice. We're going to make sure that her overload is nice and strong as well. And we are going to give her some basic armor. And so that's the way she gets that shield boost. That's a pretty good loadout for her for now. Uh, Ashley is where Ashley's going to be, and we are where we're going to be for now. So let's continue on. Our first time on the Mako. Mako, Mako. Listen, it changed. So you don't want to go in the lava. Lava's bad. Don't go in lava. Lava, lava, bad. Uh, but we're going to continue on our way. Everything seems pretty peaceful here. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll just be able to discover Liara to Sony and not have to deal with any problems whatsoever yeah this looks beautiful and fine I, guys i doubt anything's gonna be a big deal here look at us exploring on the mako this place is so cool our first alien world so we want to head this way into the smoke now if you go in the lava i'm pretty sure it's not an insta kill I think it used to be in the original game, if I am remembering that correctly, but it's not anymore. So a big thing with this is you want to remember that your ship is actually... Oh, there's an enemy all the way over there somehow. Hmm. Guess we're going to be running into something after all. You'll see that we actually have two big red markers on our map here. That's to imply that we're about to face some really tough enemies. And just like clockwork, we have a Geth dropship. Let's go ahead and boom. And you'll see that there's two new enemies that just landed there. Go ahead and see if we can take them down. And we want to move so that doesn't hit us. Woo! See if we can take this down from all the way over here. There we go. We got one down and we leveled up. See what I mean? You can kind of snipe these guys from all the way out here. And I highly recommend doing something like this on insanity now that there's only one we could probably get a little bit closer but you can pretty much avoid most damage when you're in the mako if you're playing smart see that one almost hit us obviously from this far your range or your your accuracy is going to be pretty bad so keep that in mind but it is a really strong way of just taking down some of these enemies without putting yourself in much danger now, you can actually repair the, the Mako if you have electronics and whatnot, which is nice. But we did level up, actually, so let's go ahead and put some of those points in. We could put another point in a charm, but I think we're okay for now, actually. Get a big store discount. We have our Spectre training, which is very useful across the board. Increase the damage duration of all of our powers and attacks. Uh, so I do recommend doing that at some point. But we should also start working on our throw to make sure that we can do that as much as possible and actually be able to toss very powerful enemies actually you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put two and then this one's gonna go to marksman so this way we have that ability now for our pistols as well which is so so strong we're gonna go ahead and give some points in soldier to ashley so that she's a little bit stronger in that way and make her assault rifles stronger and tally of course we are going to put some points into her ai hacking uh, just to help that out a little bit and a little bit into her electronics so she has stronger shields. Now, there is a boss at the end of this world that's very, very difficult. So we want to make sure that we're as ready for that as possible. And you'll see that over here, we have a ton of enemies. Now, this is where I kind of like to cheese the game on Insanity and kind of just hide around these ridges here and kind of take things out as we can. Used to be able to do this very very easily we'll get an auto save and right here we have these geth turrets we'll go ahead and attack those and oh no we got hit first time in the mako getting destroyed and getting hit there we go one down back up he's obviously way faster than the other enemies that we destroyed before there we go we did it this route's a no-go they have height and cover oh i think we could do it i think we could do it 
Watch out for another turret here. You do want to destroy these because, again, that's so much XP. Now, there is actually a little trick here. You can actually destroy these on foot and get even more XP. So, so that is something that you want to consider. Maybe right now is not the best time to do that, but it is a ton of XP if you're able to do it. So why don't we see, actually, if we can go ahead and take... I'm, I'm doing this in reverse here, apparently. So they said this way is a no-go. Which way were they talking about? Guys, I can control this no problem. All right, so there's the turret. So we're going to go ahead and hit it once. And then we're actually going to pop out of the Mako here. There we go. Trust me, this is this is not the worst idea you've ever had, Corey. So we're going to go a little bit. you got to watch these because they're going to do AoE now. We'll go ahead and use Marksman here. And because we just saved, it's not a huge deal. If we end up dying, we're going to go ahead and actually use her overloads and stuff as well here. You can see the Geth turret almost dead and down. So, actually, they changed it in this version of the game. Ashley just got destroyed because she took a rocket to the face. They actually changed it in this game. I'm glad I tested that for you. You're welcome. Uh, you actually don't get increased experience if you kill them on foot. So, that's interesting. So we couldn't go the other way because there was a gate there. I mean, you can, but you don't you don't want to. There's more XP this way. And right here, we can go ahead and take out this Juggernaut. Down he goes. That was our first Juggernaut of the game. There's going to be more Geth here as well. Now, because we have the Mako, we can just kind of kill them. You used to want to get out, but I guess, I guess they decided, hey, we don't need to do that anymore. Very, very interesting. Cool. Thanks for making my life easier, game. I I mean, I kind of wish they didn't do that, but hey, what are you going to do? Let's park and unlevel terrain. There we go. So we actually now want to go inside and explore these areas because there is stuff that we can get inside, including, um, you know, crates and whatnot that we can open, gate controls, all of that. And of course, there's going to be an enemy right in front of us, so we want to make sure that we are ready to go. This is a rocket trooper, so right out of the gate, let's throw it. Perfect. We're able to take it down in one hit. You'd love to see it. Here's a storage locker. We can override using 20 Omni Gel. No, we're just going to do a manual. I see no reason to use Omni Gel. Unless it's like really hard. We get a Striker and a Hydra. Hydra being kind of useless for us at this moment. And we can go ahead and open the gate. There's no real point in opening the gate. It just allows you that little, that little shortcut in case you want to go back. And, of course, this is an RPG after all, so you're going to want to explore everything. Everything, everywhere. We do, of course, have a ton of these containment cells that we could have used to do damage, but, like, they they give you the same XP whether you kill them on foot or not. So it's like, oh, okay. Uh, I guess I don't have to worry about that. And we can get an upgrade kit over here. No enemy. Look at that. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. My people have searched many generations for a world to call home. If we landed here, we'd just keep searching. Yeah, I don't blame you. Hi, Ashley. Let's see what she has like to say. Oven here. Yeah, there's lava everywhere, and lava's lava's pretty hot, Ashley. So, it's a good, good, good. Uh, I'm glad you noticed. So the way that we actually have to go is over there, where we can do another gate control. But I want to check and make sure that we've gotten everything that we can. You'll notice that there's this little area over here. Doesn't have anything except for these crates. Nice. Worth it. And we got 100 money. 100 moolahs for doing that. So let's go over here. Of course, the, the, the moolahs is, is credits. But I prefer to call it moolahs because it's, uh, it's a little bit more fun. But we want to head in here. And these are when we're going to have to face enemies. Because now we need to open this gate so that we continue on to the dig site in Therum. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Go ahead and to uh, toss you again. Remember, now that Tally has that AI hacking, she can actually hack Geth for us. Go ahead and open that gate. Perfect. Or check the other side. There's a weapon locker here that somehow I just didn't even see when we first walked in. What a, what a fool. Take all of those. Yes, please. 
and we'll run to the other side. It's also a locked crate here that we can use decryption on and grab that. Remember, any XP you can get is gonna be is gonna come in handy. Trust. On insanity? Oh yeah, please. And we can grab this. Oh man, it feels good to be home, let me tell you. Alright, let's continue on. We still have that big red enemy over here. Looks like it's probably gonna be one of the one of these guys. Now these guys are a lot slower. The armatures. Go ahead and do some damage. Then we're actually gonna get it low and we're gonna we're gonna jump out. Nice. Just for fun, you know? Just just for fun. Maybe I'm crazy, but I think that's I think that's kind of fun to do. <laughs> it is. Don't come for me. It's too bad that that's not more rewarding than it used to be. So obviously the closer you get, the less time you have to get away from their attacks. So you will take more damage, but it's also easier to destroy them. It is too bad that they rebalanced the XP there. It was always fun to get out and take something down on foot and get that extra boost of XP. We have another Geth dropship that just dropped off too. You can actually see them kind of through this. Let's see if we can take them down a little bit further away here. Nah, let's get let's get right in there. Honestly, these guys are doing way less than they used to, so I think we'll be okay. There's actually more than just these two as well. You'll see we have a pretty big lineup here. There we go. One down. Another one right here. Oh, God. I'm flipping and flopping. Nice. And we leveled up yet again. See, we're getting a ton of XP here. See if we can take out that rocket trooper, and we can. Watch out for these rocket troopers. They do do some damage. That is for sure. As you can tell. And right there, we have our first ever. Uh, come on. Let me. Uh, no, I'm trying to take these guys out. Thanks. Our first ever Geth Colossus. Which, by the way, with enough AI hacking being high enough, you can actually hack these uh, and watch them just destroy everything around you. Which is uh, which is a pretty cool, pretty cool thing to have happen, let me tell you. Death Colossus goes down, giving us 400 experience. That is just, mm, you love to see it. Then we have a little way that we can go here. Doesn't look spooky at all. Doesn't look like the perfect place for a Geth ambush. Let me tell you. Go ahead and boot. Oh, we're, we're auto saving. We're auto saving, which means that we're going to encounter some enemies right over here. Now, I used to get out on foot and infilt when I was my first time playing, and I would infiltrate or all of this. We have rocket troopers as soon as we get down here, and I would just pull out a sniper rifle and just mur just massacre everything, and it was it was awesome. And continue on, see if we can find any more enemies to destroy for free XP. Really is good XP, though, when you're in the Mako and you're able to destroy things so easily and quickly. Looks like there's potentially some stuff over here. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh take, take it away. Let me just double check and make sure there's nothing over here that we can get. Come on. My gamer sense was tingling. All right, fine, whatever. Get back into the best, the best vehicle ever. Ashley said uh, she thinks her eyeballs are dried out. Uh, I can't. Oh. Okay. 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 There we go. Okay. Whew. I'm fine. I'm fine. Totally fine. Looks like we have another path over here with some geth. I definitely saw their flashlight heads. Maybe not. Maybe that was just lights on the building. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like that was the case. Hello? Is anybody... Oh, there they are. I was like, I know they're here somewhere. I have noticed, and maybe this is just because electronics is kind of high, uh, but we are not taking any damage in the Mako at all, comparatively to how it used to be. And we also... You can repair the Mako, by the way, uh, by using Omni Gel, which is worth mentioning and something to hold on to. 
A lot of your Omni Gel should probably be saved for just that. You can actually destroy this barrier by using a rocket on it. Just like that. And that destroyed that rocket trooper as well. That rocket trooper had nothing for us. A little path down there that there's absolutely nothing. Now, we can't use the Mako anymore. We can't go further. So, looks like we're going to have to head up here on foot. This is when having a sniper rifle or somebody that can snipe is super, super useful. Because we are about to have an adventure. So, let's go ahead and run up to this. One right here. We're going to have some enemies here. You'll see some rocket troopers. Watch out for those rockets. Don't take those. There we go. One down. Go ahead and throw this one. Perfect. Watch the rockets. Watch the rockets. You do not want to get hit in the face with those. They are bad. All right. Let's see if we can go ahead and melee this guy. Perfect. Nice. Continuing on, we're going to have a lot more to take on here. There's also going to be some new Geth that are going to start attacking us, and those are going to be rough. Oh, no! Welcome to Insanity Difficulty, my friends. Okay, let's try that again without getting one shot by a sniper rifle. That is the 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 power of, of, of Insanity. You'll see that there's a sniper right up there. Unfortunately, we could pull out our own sniper rifle here if we so wanted. Because that actually, now with the changes to this game, you actually can do that. Go ahead and duck. There we go. Took him down. So weird being an adept using a sniper rifle because of these changes. But hey, you know what? I'll take it. I am at. See if we can get in here. A little bit better. Try to use this for cover. Let's see if we can finish off this shock trooper. Now, we do have our new marksman ability. Oh, no. I'm going to barrier here. We have another. Right there. Watch those rockets. Let's see if we can actually AI hack one of these and get that done. Fortunately, that missed. We can use this for cover here. We'll go ahead and toss this guy real quick just so that he doesn't come around and hit us. Unfortunately, that give me a hand. didn't work for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why that didn't work, but... Use cover. We have those two there. This is not looking good. Let's use a medic. Pop it. Overkill on Ashley. And we will use overload on this shock trooper here. See, for some reason, my abilities aren't going off. Hello? There we go. Wait for that barrier to come online before we go and deal with this trooper here. Pop a Medi, get our shields back. Perfect. There we go. Melee him real quick. That was a little bit spicy of a section right there, man. My abilities just weren't working right. Pretty upsetting. We have another Death Trooper here. We can go ahead and pop some of his shields. Shield down. And punch him in the head. You gotta love just, just popping those. We have another Trooper right over here. Hopefully our shields come back in time, and they did. It's a Rocket Trooper, no big. Fighting throw. Nope. So weird that my abilities just aren't working right there we go need to be just absolutely in clear like nothing can be in between you so up here we are going to have a pretty difficult part i definitely recommend saving i think we'll probably get an auto save here but just in case now that we've saved i highly highly recommend spending your points as best you can we're going to put some points into our shepherds uh specter training wouldn't be the worst thing in the world actually it's going to give us unity uh at a we'll basically have it more often but we're actually going to put points into throw here 
just so that we get a little bit better um, and able to toss some very particular guys around. And we're going to put another point into barrier uh, just so that the duration is a little bit longer. Uh, not that much longer, 5.5 seconds longer, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. For Ashley, we're gonna go ahead and give her two points into her combat armor. That's unlocking uh, both her equip heavy armor ability, which we don't have any, and her shield boost, which is very, very useful for the fight coming up. And we're also gonna give her some more points into soldier just so that she's a little bit more tanky. And uh, for our dear Quarian here, we're gonna put all four of these points into Quarian Machinist, just so that her shields are a little bit better. This is one of the hardest fights in the game uh, on Insanity Mode coming up. It really is super, super difficult. So, especially at this point when this is the first planet that you're coming to. So, proceed with caution. Make sure you saved. Those are Geth Stalker's brand new enemies that we have to fight here, but that's not all. Oh no. A Geth Armature that we have to fight on foot. That's not good. That's not great. And we just have the Geth Armature up. And oh man, uh, this it, this fight can just be so, so hard. So we're gonna pop some sniper rifles into it. That's not gonna help too much, but see if we can also get an overload. Perfect, we can get that from all the way over here. See if we can get tallies, and then we wanna watch that. Woo! That right there is a one shot. If that hits you, it's a one shot. You do not want that to happen, trust me. Now, unfortunately for us, we can't actually throw this or anything. We just don't, it's, our throw is just not strong enough. Uh, but we can warp and use our uh, sniper rifle as much as possible. Sniping, of course, not gonna be super strong because we do have our marksman ability, so we can pop that. Dodge that attack. Don't let it hit you. Tally was like, no, nah, I'm gonna sit there and I'm just gonna, gonna let it hit me in the face. I'm totally fine. Here. This is all we have left. Just the Geth Armature. See if we can take it down, do some damage. Come on, baby! Watch out for that! 
I think we can. We're still waiting on some of our abilities to pop, but we can go ahead and use barrier here. Get a closer look at the armature. Just dodge those as much as possible. It's almost dead. I think, you know, I think that Tally should have the uh, the last laugh here. That nice overload. There we go. Whew. One of the more difficult fights in the game done. Of course, there is one more enemy that seems to be just kind of hanging out over here. I don't I don't really know. What are you what are you doing, dude? What are you What are you what are you doing? Whatever. <laughs> Any, anyways. Woo wee. That fight, my friends, is absolutely crazy on insanity. Having more of a uh, offensive team is super, super useful for that fight. So Rex, Garrus, uh, Rex, and uh, Ashley is going to be something that you would want in that fight. It is so very strong. So let's go ahead and let's head the only place that we can. Uh, unfortunately, there's no items or anything we can grab here. Uh, but we can go into this area here. Woo, and an autosave as soon as you come in. That's probably not the best sign. Oh man, I'm still sweating from that fight. So we have enemies as soon as we come down here. But we'll see if we can maybe throw this guy off the ledge. We sure can. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Uh, we can actually go ahead and I think potentially watch out for that sniper. Don't let it hit you. We're going to bury her real quick. Whoa. And pop a medi. See if we can grab some big overloads here from both of us. I ended up choosing sabotage for her, but that's actually fine. Cool. Those are down. Not bad, just the three of them. We can take, we can take them. Not bad at all. Wanna head down here. Fusion containment seal cells, you can use those, of course, if you wanna do some damage to some, some friendos. What's over here? Looks like there's a force field that we won't be able to pass just yet. Interesting. You lead, I'll follow. Okay. Ready. Good. So let's take the elevator down. I'm sure nothing horrible awaits us. Say the word. Word. I'm right here. Good. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if we could skip this elevator ride, but it looks like we can't. Man, guys, that fight was crazy. And right here, we can grab a meta gel. Probably need it after that last encounter. And right away, we're going to have assault drones. These are our first assault drones, actually. These are different than the recon drones that we bought on Eden Prime. So we're going to go ahead and pop, pop barrier here and pop a medi. Unfortunately, we lost Tally right away. I mean, that's that's the problem, right? Is uh, when you have somebody that's so squishy on insanity, it becomes pretty difficult to keep them alive. One down. See if we can pop overkill on Ashley. And then Marksman for us. We're gonna need to pop our shield boost here so that we don't actually get sniped. Nice job. Ashley was able to take down one of the assault drones on her own. Protheans built to last. Looks like a lava flow port in here. Yeah, Protheans are awesome. Whoever the heck Protheans are. Heading on down, baby. Uh oh, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Well, guess this is our stop. Hmm, there's someone in a thing over there. So we gotta drop down. Hello? Can somebody help me? Please? Liara? Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped, I need help. Uh, we hear you. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Sure, but can we talk about maybe your mom? Are you working with your mom? 
Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Venezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How'd you get trapped? How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. Smart. But when I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Hmm. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. That, my friends, that Krogan, that's going to be a source of a lot of frustration for us in the next episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Thank you guys so much for checking out this episode. That fight was spicy. Let me tell you, in the next one that we have coming up is going to be even spicier when you have a charging, angry Krogan coming at your face. And trust me, oh, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. So thank you guys so much for watching. A huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. I sincerely appreciate you guys. You're awesome. Uh, I, I took time out of stream today to make sure that this video was done and ready for you guys. Uh, which, by the way, you can check me out on twitch.tv slash online. Uh, and I, I hope to see you guys come by the chat. That'd be awesome. Thank you guys again for watching. Remember, never give up. Never surrender to the Geth armatures. That destroyed me. There was a lot. I died a lot. A lot of times. Like, like, a, like a lot. Like, it took me. That was not. It was. It was a lot. <laughs>